Hi, my name is James Christie, and not long ago I wrote a book called Dear Miss Lando, and a little while before that I really was living a life of quiet desperation, and I escaped from it all with, of all things, the help of one of Buffy the Vampire Slayer's so-called villains. A kooky, and I would stress fictional, vampire by the name of Drusilla. Drusilla the Vampire. But it was a most brightly shining star by the name of Juliet Landau who guided me 5,000 miles to a breakfast date on Sunset Boulevard one Sunday morning in March. The story and the book starts a long way east of sunset, though. It begins in a grey room west of Glasgow on a damp day in June, a room where I was diagnosed with Asperger syndrome and discovered I really was Rain Man's distant relative. Know your limitations. It was kindly advice given by a decent man in a grey consulting room in Drum Chapel a poor district west of Glasgow. He was a psychologist, I was his subject, and he just diagnosed me with Asperger syndrome, a form of autism. It was why, despite a higher education and an IQ of 134, I had had great difficulty holding down a decent job, and the chance of getting a girlfriend seemed as far from me as a Vikings Valhalla. And if there is a sunlit city on a hill waiting for us, or in the case of a Viking, a flaming longship pushed out to sea by several scantily clad Northwomen, it felt a million miles distant from a depressed part of Glasgow on a drab day in the early autumn of 2002. I'd been a long time getting there, with many a humiliation on the way. Logical autism, however, did prefer certain advantages. I was a sexual inadequate for so long <laughs> that I'd been forced, seriously and logically, to come to terms with and control my male ego. So when I did finally manage to pick up some pretty obvious hints from a pretty inebriated woman, well, I just did my best, tried to remember the rules, and gave her as good a time as possible. I was pleased to discover I was quite good at it. My psychologist, finally explained to me why sex, social relationships and the never-ending need to learn, learn, learn had been such trials for me. Why I'd had a few too many career stumbles, why I couldn't take in and process information with the ease of my neurotypical siblings, and why I couldn't reliably pick up NT females, that's neurotypical females, subtle signals. Why? Because they weren't my siblings and never had been. After 37 years, I finally knew who I actually was. An autist, Mr. Spock, differently wired, alien. So I would have to struggle through the day with a tiring brain under manual control, thinking out what to do, not trusting my emotional instincts, feeling like Mr. Spock, on a ship full of NTs, dependent on the tremendous parts of my brain to compensate for the deficient areas, knowing that if the engine started to run hot, the software would seize up. Realising that, like Spock, I was adrift in a sea of aliens I did not understand, and who did not understand me. Thanks for listening so far. After that, I left one job, lost another, and ended up cleaning toilets to make a living. I was a long way from Los Angeles, even further from Hollywood, and had no idea, nor any intention, of getting any closer. So how did it happen? Let me read on. So what, then, could possibly come next? All I did know was that two TV series I rather liked, Buffy the Vampire Slayer 
and its spin-off Angel, had just been cancelled. Buffy was slain in 2003 and Angel went to heaven in 2004. At the end of April 2004, some of the Buffy Angel cast attended a fan convention in Blackpool. At that time, I was beginning to browse through the internet and I came across an interview with a cast member on the BBC's website. Her name was Juliet Landau. I looked at her photograph for a moment, not knowing who she was and not caring. The relationship between the celebrity and the man in the street is, by definition, a strange one. At first, you, the man in the street, can see her, the celebrity, but she can't see you. And that's usually the way it stays. Usually. Well, if you like this extract, then you'd like to read my book, Dear Miss Landau, written by me, James Christie, and published by Chaplin Books. <laughs>